Hey everybody, it's me, Leather Ice Cream, your favorite gray misty thing that was drawn in MS Paint, only 13 months late for the GTA video this year. For those of us just joining us, I am obsessed with GTA myth videos from the late 2000s and early 2010s. As you can tell, I am an insane person, and I enjoy videos made by insane people. Anyway, this video is a sequel, fuck you. Many years ago, I looked at a video, it was called GTA San Andreas, The Real Truth. Let me tell you, you can't get more truthful than the real truth. In 2011, we got more Mad and Mad action with uh, the sequel to that video. This time, they even tell us what the target is. They even give them fucking, like, stand stats, like, danger level heech. <laughs> like any good card-carrying secret agent investigating the paranormal, they, of course, fly into the scene because this is Dragon Ball Z X-Files. The Yeti's reaction to this is appropriate as it reverse flips up or something. I mean, nobody in real life has found the Yeti, let alone seen it stand up, so this could be realistic for all I know. CJ's usual weapons prove to be insufficient firepower for the Yeti. For situations like this, you gotta bring out the standard issue Master Spark. Yeah, that's right, that's not CJ. Uh, it was Marissa Toho this entire time. You've been tricked. This is Toho myth, not GTA myth. Next up, they're gonna go after CJ's mom's ghost. To tackle this one, they're gonna have to bust out the bubble mobile. Honestly, Marissa does a pretty shit job at sending this woman's soul into the afterlife, but don't worry, we'll find out how to do that properly later. Next myth is the serial killer, and I'm still not sure why people back then bullied this goth cowboy so much. I mean, wait. Hold the phone, is that, is that Lincoln Park dubstep? This really is 2011. Lizardman. Has he been getting enough sunlight? He doesn't look right. Oh, okay. I guess the render distance fixed his skeleton. Too many myths use their fists to fight. We need to crank up the arsenal a little bit. Like, give him a, a small gun, just, you know, to start. Oh, there we go. I tell you, every Resident Evil 3 fan I talk to always has to mention the part where an elevator gives birth to Nemesis. Umbrella Corp is on some serious shit. Ah, love this myth. Sarma. She uses the exact same model as Bloody Mary. With a machine gun. On a completely unrelated note, I made a new game called Bone2.exe. It's a free game that you can download in the description, and it has absolutely nothing to do with what I just said in this video. The final boss is absolutely not Bloody Mary with a machine gun that keeps appearing in these myth videos. And finally, they defeat the, um... The... The guy that has the body of a pig. And it's just kinda it. The credits roll. And a surprise! Marissa killed fucking CJ this entire time. I guess that explains why CJ wasn't in this video. There's still some other videos I want to talk about before I end things. Like Tree Man. No, not G-Man. I'm talking about a tree that walks like a man. See, the tree is moving, and I think what happened is that a tree broke off, and it's a physics object, and it was knocked back by an explosion, but it's still moving because this is San Andreas. I don't know why they didn't just call it Moving Tree. Why, why is it called Tree Man? Another video. This one is proof of the Loch Ness Monster. See, here's a screenshot they took, and here it is compared to the Loch Ness Monster. Now, everybody open your bathroom mirror because we're about to use Occam's razor. Your Honor, that just looks like some guy swimming. Or maybe even drowning. I'm absolutely gonna hate myself for saying this later when I rewatch this video in the future. But isn't this that guy spam to- Wow, that looks so real. I feel like I could reach into my screen and then reach into the screen that this photo took and, and then reach into the screen of the in-game TV and- Okay, I'll stop. Still, A for effort on the image though. At least it's- at least you tried. At least you didn't just repost the same fucking image of the TV ghost a million times. Alright, the final video is by far the most important one. The discovery here is going to be huge for the next Toho game. So the coolest video ever, formerly known as GTA San Andreas How to Kill CJ's Mom's Ghost, shows by far the most efficient myth hunting technique I've ever seen. Everybody knows that guns cannot kill ghosts, unless that gun was made by another ghost, but that's not this game. You can throw anything at her. Melee, bullets, explosives, nothing works. And of course it doesn't. The only way you can kill any myth Cryptid, yokai, demon, anything, is to pull out one of these. This also works in Isaac. 